Hello YouTube, it's Danny, the leader of MVP Game, and in today's video, the craziest thing happened. I'm going to show you some Metro Royale bullying where I killed the same guy three times on the same night, guys. I felt bad for this guy, it is what it is, but of course we're going to be doing a giveaway of all of his stuff as well, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So here we are in the game, guys, and <laughs> it's going to be one of those videos where I feel bad for the guy who is getting featured, and <laughs> he got killed three times in the same night, and he was actually a decent player as well, like, I just feel bad for him because on this night, like, I must have really frustrated, I mean, he probably didn't know it was me because he didn't even kill me, to be honest, like, this is probably the first thing he's hearing of it, in his head he just got killed by three random players, but in my head I was laughing every single time, guys, so it is what it is, I feel bad for the guy, but at the end of the day, it's a doggy dog world, that is how Metro Royale is, everyone knows that if you lose your fights, you can lose your gear and you can, uh, lose all the equipment that you take into the game obviously and obviously you don't make anything either so we're gonna be jumping into this game now it's actually in three different games obviously so it's gonna be clips from all of those games so it's gonna be a nice video action pack for you guys as well and i am gonna be doing a lovely giveaway so make sure you stay tuned for that giveaway as well i'm already taking out my first guy maybe i might even give away this guy's stuff this box that I'm just about to come up and loot. This You can have everything in this box. There you go. You can have some bandages and bullets. <laughs> I'm joking. Psych. It's a red box. Come on, guys. You know it. It's a refined AWM. So maybe there's going to be a refined AWM in the giveaway today. Who knows? Cross your fingers, guys. Who knows? Now, I've killed that guy. I'm going to be running up this hill. Now, to be honest, this was recorded a little bit back it wasn't recorded that recently and i was not the richest guy in the world back then in metro i was like still quite well low on some gear it was it was towards the start of the season actually no nah, not that long but it wasn't that to be honest it was like two weeks ago i wasn't the richest guy it's been a good two weeks for me to be honest in terms of getting some loot but i only had one level six backpack i think or maybe two actually and i i didn't have that many awms or anything like that so here i was actually looking like i was you know what i'm gonna evac i'm just gonna play it safe because i've got an awm i've got a backpack level six I'm, i don't know why i don't know if it's the same for you guys but like I really have a hard time finding backpacks level 6. I don't know why. I don't know why it is. I seem to end up with like 20 vests, 20 helmets and like 3 backpacks. I don't know if it's because I lose them if I die or if I don't actually find any backpacks on the thing. I know Wolfie, the big bad wolf, I know he drops his backpack like every time. But <laughs> it's, not, it's not the same for enemies obviously. Because whenever I kill enemies, I don't seem to find many backpacks at all guys which is a little bit of a frustrating one because i'm always struggling for backpacks sometimes i think i've even got to buy some or if i want to give one away then i've got to buy it out of the actual black market so i've got one there but we're gonna move on from that and hopefully i can find a couple more backpacks in the future <laughs> especially when it comes to next season and the inventory gets wiped because i'm actually looking pretty good for gear nowadays guys to be fair and i'm gonna be doing a load of better giveaways i know a lot of the times on giveaways i only give like one or maybe two things that i find in the game but now in these last giveaways of the season i'm going to be giving away like three things every single giveaway so stay tuned for all of them make sure you always got those eyes on the channel like turn that notification bell on guys make sure you subscribed and make sure you also give it a like because if you're gonna win some giveaways it doesn't hurt to give me a like on the video as well it really does help out the channel so make sure you give us a good like and also subscribe with that notification bell turned on even though i know a load of you already are so i appreciate that now i came into this house because i was like you know what I'm just going to play it safe. I can't afford to lose this backpack. And I hear behind me, not just yet, but soon I'm going to hear shots behind me, right? Now, check this out, guys, because this is the guy coming up behind me now. Yeah, you hear those bot shots? This is the guy who I killed three times in one night. Now, I think this is pretty suspicious. Like, I don't want to make you biased or anything, but let me know what you think about this. Like, I'm pretty hidden here, right? 
in my opinion, I'm pretty hidden here. And this guy, like, look how he acts now. Look, look. He runs up here like he knows someone's in the building. He gets a Molotov and he already starts throwing Molotovs at me. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, this is a bit weird. And I'm going to get a grenade out and start throwing it. But really, I should have just flipping and had my gun out. Because if I did that, it would have been an easy kill. But I put myself in a harder situation now. And I'm going to start throwing grenades. But I thought that was a little bit weird. Like, how did he know? How did he know that I was there? So I'm going to be throwing grenades, trying to uh, do some damage. And it's not really working, I don't think, because he's in the back room. It's not hard, it's not easy, sorry, to throw grenades from upstairs to downstairs, because it's very easy for them to dodge. So I pull out this grenade, and he starts pushing me. So I throw it against the door, and he pushes me. But luckily, because I'm straight even left and right, I beat him, even though he's in full steel front gear, guys. So his name, as you can see, is Bodja Fedaishin. And I'm sorry, Bodja Bod <laughs> Fedaishin, but you have got absolutely wrecked this video. <laughs> that was the first one. To be honest, that was probably the easiest fight out of the three of them. They are going to get better and better. And we are going to be evacking out of this game when I looted that guy's stuff. Because I had that AWM, I had the level 6 backpack. And I had also uh, all that high explosive that I just took off the guy, our friend Bodja Fedaishin, <laughs> who we're going to see a lot more of this video. So this is going to be us getting into the second game, guys. Now, I got the spawn next to Crash Site. And if you do get one of these spawn guys, like, you've just got to fight. Like, this guy here is running away. Like, sometimes you can run away if you get the Crash Site spawn. But if you're in the spawn that I got... You've just got to fight, like, you've got to be aggressive. You can't run away because he's got perfect vision on you and you'll be running out in the open. Like, you've just got... Some of these spawns, guys, in solos, you know how it is. You've just got to fight. Like, there's no other way around it. You've just got to go for it and you've just got to push. I overcooked the grenade a little bit. And the thing is, yeah, when I'm saying you've got to fight, I'm also saying you've got to finish it up quick because these aren't the only enemies in the area, like... That's the thing about these solo spawns. I know I'm taking like taking on this guy and wanting to fight him fast and pushing him quick, but at the same time, this is not the only guy in the area. Like there's another two spawns, three spawns even close by who might be coming up because they all know that you spawn here. Like they're like, "Oh, I know people spawn over there. I know I'm going to go get some gear off them as well." Like you know what it's like, guys. It's crazy these spawn points, especially on this north uh, east island. That's right. There, yeah, already. See, I'm getting shot by some random third party guy. I managed to put some bullets onto him. More damage than he did to me, actually. But I'm still thinking, I don't want to get shot in the back. Like, I don't know where this guy went. I think I just heard his footsteps. Yeah, yeah, I heard his footsteps underneath the bridge. And he's actually grenading me, which is uh, not very nice of him. A little bit rude. But it's to be expected, right? I guess if I'm trying to kill him. So I can't really blame him for that one. <laughs> but we're going to be moving on and I'm going to be trying to change my angle. That's the thing, a really important thing to do, guys. Change your position because that guy who's flanking up here could get a really, really solid angle on me if he came over where I'm coming now. So this is why I need to come up to here, make sure that he can't. And also it gives me some cover from the guy who could be under the bridge. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, under the bridge as well at the same time. So we're going to be uh, coming up and pushing onto this guy because I've just heard some MK shots, right? I just saw him by the tree on the replay, but I didn't see him before when I was actually playing. That just shows you. You need to keep those eyes peeled because I just spotted him there by the tree, but in the game, I don't actually know he's there. I think on this close tree, I think he is. Careful, Danny. Careful, Danny. <laughs> I think he's just here, bro. Careful. Or maybe he's not. I oh, know he's not. <laughs> I'm seeing things in my head. I don't know what's going on. I thought he was there, but obviously he's not. So I was right in the game. He wasn't actually there. I was just seeing things. I do have to try and clean up this fight fast because I'm using grenades and obviously because the guy behind me. Okay, nice. So I use utility. Now you see that how I used utility to get him out of cover. Like, when you start throwing grenades and stuff, people start panicking and, like, they, they're just like, oh, I need to get out of here, I need to change position, he's going to grenade me. And that's when you can get the MK out and do some damage. So I'm going to be swimming here over to Rajok. I just left the guy under the bridge because I don't know where he was, to be honest. And it's an absolute nightmare. The thing is about killing people who go under the bridge and stuff like that, yeah? If you're trying to kill them and you fall down into the water, it's a nice little pickup. People just don't know you're there and you just get to kill him easy, but he didn't really drop anything, so it's alright. He was only level 4. 
Yeah, so what I was just saying is if people are under the bridge, yeah, and you try and go down to kill them, and you like, sometimes in the game, yeah, it pushes you into the water, right? And then you're in the water and they're above you, so it doesn't matter. They could be level two and they'll still kill you because you can't even get your gun out when you're in the water and it puts you in a really bad situation, guys. So sometimes it's better just to leave it. You know what? It is what it is. Just like, you know what? You can live, my friend. But here, I always check out this sniper tower when I'm pushing into Rojak. you got to be careful of this. People love to camp this tower, especially in solos. Like... Oh, there, there was actually a guy. That's maybe why I was throwing the monitor. I just heard his footstep in here. So I'm going to be pushing up and trying to take out this guy. And we haven't met our friend Boda for Dyson yet, but we're getting to that bit. <laughs> we're getting to that bit. I'm telling you, it was weird. Like, I killed... It was back-to-back -back games where I found this guy, right? Literally back-to-back -back games. Oh, the, I thought I heard a footstep here, but there wasn't one. Uh, so I'm thinking, where could he be? And he is, of course, in the little shack. Because that's the only other place that would give a footstep of that sound in that area. Like the build, it sounds like a footstep when they're in a building, right? So I'm thinking, well, if he's that close, he's got to be in the little shack. Because that's the only other little building that's close enough to give that footstep, like, loudness and sound type of sound if you know what i mean by that which you probably don't because i'm not always the best at explaining things but never mind you'll have to put up with it right so i'm gonna be moving on here and taking out the boss i think no he's already been taken out so i'm not gonna be taking out the boss but i'm gonna be having a little look anyway in case there's any little campers there i'm moving on into the tunnels but yeah as i was saying what was i even saying before i started talking about that guy and the thing uh you know what, I can't even remember, but I'm going to be moving on and looking for this bowler for Daisha. Oh yeah, 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 I was saying, I killed him in back-to-back -back games, right? It was literally one after the other, and then I took like, well, I didn't take a break, but then like I played another game, or maybe two games it was, or maybe just one more game in between, and then in like the fourth game, I found this guy again, so literally in three out of four games, I killed this guy. Like, I, I don't know if he, if he was waiting for me to match or something like that, but here I'm moving into the radiation zone, and like going up the hill as I always do guys you know it you know the strategy of radiation zone it's so good like this guy's already killed a dog so he's given his position away so I know he's on this left side so I've just got to do a little bit of leg work trying to find him and use my eyes the thing is right like he doesn't know that I'm here and I know that he's here and I've just seen him so I'm just gonna wait like this is what I said I was saying in one of my last videos right about where I killed that glitcher just wait for the opportunity I know that he's gonna go on that roof and loot that box I know it and there he is three body shots and a headshot and he's dead how easy was that kill and he's dropped me a red crate <laughs> <laughs> this was the guy, by the way. This was the true guy. I'm not even going to loot his crate yet. I'm going to loot the box that he wanted to loot. See what he left me. Uh, he left me a backpack. So that's nice. Bolger for Dyson. You see his name? It's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same guy. And it was literally like in the same game. So I'm coming down here. And I'm going to be dropping all my gear. I'm picking up his gear. Thanks, my friend. So look what he dropped me. He dropped me like two, three blueprints, tablets, everything. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> it's, it's so unfortunate for him, really. Three, three out of four games. Imagine getting killed by the same guy. Imagine how annoyed you'd be. Like, I don't even know how it timed up that good because I was killing him. And then, like, surely he would try and find a Or maybe he took ages in the lobby or, or maybe he was waiting for me. Like, I don't even know, but <laughs> if, he, if he was waiting for me, then... Feels bad, bro. Really feels bad because you were trying to get me, and look what happened. But he dropped his his stuff again. He dropped us a level six backpack, a load of high explosive bullets, uh, and improved S gear. So to be fair, it was a really expensive night for this guy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend coming up against Danny three times in a row. But never mind. I guess he didn't really have much of a choice about it. I do remember the. The queue, right, the, the matching queue was really, really long that night. That's probably why as well. Like, I remember waiting for like two, three minutes maybe for, for games. So that's why it was probably putting us against the same people again and again. Because it wasn't a lot of players playing that night. But I'm going to be moving on here. I should have done that stare at the library. Actually, no, no, because I was just checking it out. I was actually just checking it out to see if it was looted because it was already looted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're doing it like that, and then I just recommend you don't even need to waste time with all that. You can just run, do a little lap of the radiation zone and check that it's all looted properly. Because if there's a couple boxes there, then let's face it, it's probably worth 
just uh, taking your time and actually, uh, what's it called? And actually going and killing all the monsters and then looting it because one of those boxes could be like 400,000, yeah? If you get two gold bars, like, that's a lot of cash just for killing, using a couple bullets to kill the monsters and things like that. So I definitely recommend if you find one or two unlooted crates in that house, which sometimes there is because if people don't kill them all, then there is often a lot of unlooted crates there if they, if they don't have the time to kill the monsters or some people just don't know how to do it effectively, so... If you don't know how to do it effectively, then watch some of my other videos on the channel. But there, a bot is throwing a grenade on me, which is a bit of a, an annoying move. I hate those bots throwing grenades on me. Next thing you know, they'll have flipping grenade launchers. <laughs> which, no, that is not a suggestion, Tencent, if you're watching it. Please do not give the bots grenade launchers. But I was just saying that as like a little... A little nightmare that was going on in my head or something like that. Imagine if the bots had grenade launchers. To be fair, that would actually make them a lot more, like, intimidating and better. Maybe. I don't know. No, don't do it, Tencent. <laughs> no, don't do it, Tencent. I'm just thinking about it in my head. No, don't do it, Tencent. How many times have you been fighting a squad and then a bot's come up behind you and started shooting your things like that? Imagine if that bot had a grenade launcher, like, just no. Just no, please don't. Please don't, Tencent. It's not going to be fun. So I'm going to be evacuating out of this game and going into the third and final game, which was the most exciting fight that me and this guy had. So definitely, definitely enjoy this fight coming up. Now, I know on the clock it's saying loads of time there, but it really wasn't that long. It was literally like back-to-back -back games. I think before this one, I played like one game as like a little break and then in this game the game after i literally found this guy now i want to know your opinion right on this guy so let me know in the comments down below and what you thought because in that first game yeah when i was in that building camping like i was in that building camping for a long time like i did not want to lose that gear right and i was playing it cautious and he knew i was there which made me think oh that's suspect like that's so sus if you know what i mean I'm not obviously going to call anyone a hacker or nothing like that, but it was pretty sus. It was pretty sus, guys, how he got that Molotov out. I don't know if he saw my head or something because of the angle or anything like that. But in that next game, that grenade launcher, by the way, I hate it. I hate it so much. See, the, good, the bot killed him. <laughs> See, imagine if that bot had a grenade launcher. <laughs> oh, man. I literally put that guy so low that the bot actually finished him off. I don't think he had very good gear at all, so I do feel bad for that guy, but if you- Actually, no, nah. Scratch that, I don't feel bad for that guy. He's using a grenade launcher against me, so it is what it is. I hate that weapon. I really hate that. If, if you want to be able to kill Danny, then you've got to use a grenade launcher, guys. So make sure you got a grenade launcher if you're going in <laughs> on, uh, on map three, because Danny might come and get you, and you need that thing to kill him, right? So, we're going to be moving on, and what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 this guy. Like... In that second game, when I was in the radiation zone, he was there as well. Like, I didn't think he was that sus. Like, surely he would have known that I was there if he was using any kind of cheats. But it was just that first game when I was hiding out in that house. Like, I swear it was sus. I swear, guys. I swear. But I don't know. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I don't know. Now, here, I'm lining up on this guy. This is what I'm saying. In one of my last videos, I literally said, if they don't know that you're there and you know that they're there and who knows that they're there or whatever, he's there or whatever. <laughs> I'm joking. Like, then you need to, like, take the opportunity. So there, I didn't just see him and be like, oh, I need to shoot, 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 shoot. I, like, saw him. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my time. I'm going to relax. And then I'm going to shoot. Look what we got this game, by the way. Oh, well, not this game, but these three games. These three games are pretty nice, right? So I got a vest, a helmet, two backpacks, AWM. It's going to be a nice giveaway, guys. It's going to be a good one. So here I was looting, taking my time looting. And this is where the man, the myth, the legend returns. His name, Bodded Fedaishin, comes back to try and haunt me for the third time. This guy, I don't know if he was trying to chase me all night, if he was doing it on purpose. But he came to Rojok to find Danny Boy when Danny Boy was killing the boss so peacefully. Dan had already eaten his meal, he'd already got his loot, and I heard him coming, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to reset this boss, because I know there's a guy coming, and I'm going to I'm gonna deal with this boss in a bit, and I'm going to take care of the guy first, which is always a recommended thing to do, if you can do it, guys, so I'm going to go back to my favourite camping spot in the whole of Rojok, which is going to be just up these stairs, on this, yeah, yeah, here, wait, where are you going, Danny? 
Where are you, where are you going, Danny? Right, I can't really remember, remember what I was doing here, but I thought I was going for a good camping spot, but obviously not. Is this boss shooting at me again? Uh, I don't really know what Danny was doing here, guys, but he's going to be taking care of the boss. Anyway, I think there is a guy coming behind me, so I do need to be a little bit careful. I think Bod of Fedaishan has, has smelled my, my scent and he's coming back to kill me. I think that's what it is. But this boss is a little bit glitched, I think. So maybe you can try this glitch if it might work. I'm not sure. I always use, like, the cover. You know, like, those wooden blocks in the staircase and things like that. I always use that, guys, to try and, uh, to try and kill this boss. So I do clean up that boss. And then I hear, yeah, this is where I hear him. Look, I see him as well running. So I get into my favorite camping spot because I know this guy is coming in fast. And I am waiting here for him. Now, this guy... Bodger for Daishin has actually been wearing steel fronts. If you noticed, every single fight he's been wearing full steel fronts gear. So this is why I don't feel that bad for him that I've killed him all the time because I guess he's a rich guy, right? And I know that he knows that <laughs> I'm not going to start it again. But he knows that I'm here, right? So I'm going to throw a Molotovs and grenades into there. And if you, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about by that, I know that he knows that I'm there or whatever like that. It's from the last video, guys. I was talking a load of waffle. But I'm going to be throwing Molotovs and stuff into the, the actual tower where this guy's at. And I love Molotovs for that because they spread all the way down the stairs. And I'm going to be pushing. I don't know if he's healing up or whatever, but I'm going to be pushing this guy because I've pressured him. And he's using a grenade launcher, which makes me even happier that I've killed him this many times. And this is going to be the best fight of the night, guys. Because it's not an easy fight to take when they're up above you and you're underneath. So here's some of the tactics that I'm using, right? Just like trying to poke him. Like, that was a bit of a mistake falling down. Because he was relating, reloading his grenade launcher. Had a little bit of an opportunity. But just trying to poke him there. Like, you see how I, like, I literally peek for like a second and then come back up. But here, I made him fall down himself. And I managed to just get the kill. But look at my HP, guys. Look at my HP. That was literally the closest fight we've had all night. And when you open up the box, look who it is. It's Bodger for Daishin. <laughs> and he's literally dropped me his steel front vest. So I appreciate your sacrifice, my bro. I'm going to take that vest and I'm going to put it to good use. So thank you, Bodger for Daishin for giving me all your loot today and in turn for giving it to my subscribers because that is where it's going so <laughs> let's see what we can give away i'm gonna do a giveaway right now because i don't want people just skipping to the end of the video always for the giveaways right so <laughs> oh it is the end of the video <laughs> oops is what it is right okay we'll move on from that so i'm gonna be giving away all of bodger for daishin stuff uh maybe i should give away what have we got in here Right, so I'm going to give away Bodja for Daishin Steel Front uh, Vest, level 6. I'm going to give away a helmet, level 6. That wasn't off Bodja for Daishin, but he let me keep it anyway. So we'll give props to him for that as well. So I'm going to give away a normal level 6 helmet, a Steel Front level 6 vest. I'm going to give away Bodja for Daishin's backpack, level 6. And I'm also going to give away that refined AWM that I found at the start of the game. So what a giveaway. That, 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 uh, that is really, let's face it, that's four, I, that's probably the best giveaway I've done on the channel so far. Refined AWM, level six steel front vest, level six helmet, and a level six backpack. That is going to get you kitted out, guys. That is a good one. So I'm going to be giving that away. All you got to do is say, we love, or I love, Bodja for Daishin in the comments down below, and you'll be entered into that giveaway, guys. So good luck for that one, and I'll see you in the next one.